write down the heading <coughs> arbitrage in your notebook write down arbitrage start writing arbitrage is a process of arbitrage is a process of making use of inefficiencies in the market making use of inefficiencies in the market making use of inefficiencies in the market continue this theory assumes this theory assumes no taxes this theory assumes no taxes comma debt rate is same debt rate is same for both for both individual and for both individual and for companies full stop it also assumes no transaction cost it also assumes no transaction cost slash flotation cost no transaction cost slash flotation cost and there is a okay you have written no transaction cost slash flotation cost full stop that's enough example number 1 just copy this a small table particulars m limited k limited two companies ebit 20000 20000 okay do you remember this discussion identical companies yes, sir. now look at the assumptions that you have written that assumption is like mm without tax please read mm without tax also had same assumptions value of levered and value of unlevered should be same total values will not differ whether you have more debt less debt ko is same you did lot of questions on this ha huh. ebit 20000 debt for first company you write 1 lakh second company nothing kd 7% nothing here ke 11.5% here and 10% here table is over explain how arbitrage will take place how arbitrage will take place explain how arbitrage will take place listen <laughs> if there is no tax and if we go by the perfect market as per mm hypothesis value of the two firms should be equal hello remember if their eb its are same identical companies will have same value right let us first find out value of m and value of k how to do value value of debt plus value of equity first company there is debt that means you don't copy this is a levered firm and k is Unlevered for according to them, 
एम एम विदाउट टैक्स लिवर्ड और अनलिवर्ड शुड हैव सेम वैल्यू इफ इट इज परफेक्ट कैपिटल मार्केट बट मार्केट हैव इन एफिशियंसिस आई टोल्ड यू सेल प्राइज ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट कैनॉट बी डिफरेंट इन टू डिफरेंट क्रॉसेस ऑफ जयनगर इफ इट इज परफेक्ट कैपिटल मार्केट इन सेम वे सेलिंग प्राइज ऑफ द पेन शुड बी सेम इफ इट इज डिफरेंट दैट मीन्स मार्केट हैज इन एफिशियंसी दैट इज देर अ वे टू यूज मेक यूज ऑफ दैट इन एफिशियंसी वी आर ट्राइंग टू लर्न इट स्टार्ट नाउ आंसर फर्स्ट वर्किंग नोट यू कैन स्टार्ट अलॉन्ग विथ ईजियर वैल्यू ऑफ इक्विटी इन एम This will be a quick revision. Value of equity is what e tesh by ke. Please, how to get the numbers? Sir, E B I T minus interest. Ha. Huh. Take the numbers twenty thousand E B I T. Do they have interest to be paid in first company? Yes, sir. Seven percent on one lakh. Seven thousand. Divided by point one one five, correct? You can round off if it's decimal. One one three zero four. I'm taking it as one one three zero four three. Same way, value of equity in K also you don't need a formula again. Here I think it is easier. Tell me what E T is twenty thousand only. Hello. Divided by point one zero. That is <laughs> two lakh rupee. This is value of equity. Next, working note two. Value of the firm is equal to value of equity plus value of debt. We have done this. Ah, huh. for M Limited. Tell me, do we have debt? One lakh plus do we have equity? One one three zero four three. That means total. Two one three zero four three. If you want to write formula, first line value of the firm is equal to value of debt plus value of equity. Hope you are able to recall all this. Same way, value of the firm K is equal to they don't have any debt plus two lakh. Correct. Listen to me. M M without tax believes whether you have debt or you don't have debt, value of the firm should remain same. But if you see in this case, value of the firm is not same. That means it is not a perfect capital market. There are inefficiencies in the market. I will take the example once again that I took few minutes back. There is an item. its price should be based on demand and supply same product sold by two sellers one in 10th cross one in 11th cross if demand for pen is same supply for pen is same then the price of the pen in two shop should also be same correct that is what is the meaning of perfect market price should be based on demand and supply only but if someone is selling this pen at 85 in 10th cross someone is selling it at 100 in another cross tell me if i already have one pen what will i do i will give it to the one who was selling it at 100 and say boss now will reverse the transaction you take my pen give me 100 with that 100 i'll go to next cross and pay 100 and buy pen and also take 15 rupee change i repeat listen i already have one pen there are two sellers in one cross there is someone selling that pen at 100 another cross same pen is sold at 85 i already have one pen what will i do i will give it to that guy 
who is selling it at hundred and say, sir, you give me hundred back. I'll take that and I'll go to next cross. I'll pay hundred and purchase pen there. But this guy is selling pen at eighty five. After this deal, I will have same pen with fifteen extra. This is called arbitrage. Tell me when will arbitrage fail? When both are selling pen at same rate. That will happen in a perfect market condition. But in reality, markets have imperfections. Here is the best example. As per MM without tax model, value of two firms should be same whether they have debt or not. But here, M Limited has debt; their value is more, and this is without tax, by the way. So don't say because of tax all this is happening. Without tax, this is happening. Now tell me, if I am holding shares in M Limited, I know it is overvalued. I know that should also be worth two lakh only, but it is worth two one three zero forty three. What will I do? I will sell the share at high price, and money comes to me. With that, I will buy. Shares of second company, I will buy same shares, but at cheap price I will have some extra money with me, like that pen example I told you. That extra money I get is a gain because of arbitrage. We will work out the sum. We haven't completed the sum yet. Again, I am repeating. As per MM model without tax, whether you have debt or not, levered or unlevered, value should be same. Their EBIT is same. They are identical companies. That means value should also be both two lakh, two lakh, correct? Or two one three, two one three should have been same. X is equal to X. But what is happening? One company is overvalued, another company is undervalued. It's actually not overvalued, undervalued. In comparison, one is more, one is less. If I am already holding ten percent share of M, what should I do now? Ten. I just took an example. If I am holding ten percent share of M, what will I do? I'll sell. Because anyway, that is overvalued. People are giving high price. Collect that money, and using that, I will buy shares of K Limited. I will buy more shares there, or I will buy same number of share plus. I'll be left with some more cash in hand. In the same example, I gave pen here, collected hundred, gave hundred, bought pen plus saved fifteen rupee. This is called arbitrage, and at the end, that extra money that I am planning to earn is called arbitrage gain. Did you understand? Working note three. As per MM without tax model, when EBIT is same, when EBIT is same, value of levered firm. Should be equal to value of unlevered firm. Full stop. But in above case, in above case, tell me which is overvalued. M Limited is. Overvalued when compared to K Limited. Correct. Think and answer. If I go by perfect market assumption, whether I have ten percent share in M or ten percent share in K, it should give me same wealth. If everything was same. Ten percent in this company or ten percent in this company should give me same, but here one is overvalued, the other is undervalued. What will I do? The overvalued shares that I have, I will sell, I will collect the money, and with that money I will go and buy undervalued shares because I know it is equally valued. But because of market inefficiency, I know pen price should be hundred only, but this guy is an idiot selling at eighty five. This is called arbitrage, making misuse of the inefficiency. But this can't be forever. Understand what will happen in that pen example? I will buy. More people will start doing this. Then that guy will get a doubt. Why suddenly demand for my pen is increasing? He will go to next cross and see what is the price. Or that guy will come to this cross. See pen. I said tenth cross, eleventh cross. In NSC, BSC, there is no tenth cross, eleventh cross. People can see both prices. That means up to a point only this foolishness will continue. 
and then once both of them get to know no one will sell pen at higher price or lower price then both value will be equal he believes world is already at that equilibrium mm believes it is always at equilibrium but real world is not like this real world has inefficiencies if you are an investor can you make good use of that inefficiency that's what we are trying to do correct right? working note 4 if i am holding write in this wordings only will be easy to understand if i am holding 10% shares of m limited 10% share of m limited that is overvalued don't write you tell me what i should do i should sell it and then go and buy the undervalued share but later to find out whether i am gaining or losing i should first know how much is my earning right now then we'll think of selling start right if i am holding 10% shares of m limited comma my investment is equal to my investment is equal to first tell me how much is the value of equity of m limited 113043 correct in that i am holding how much 10% 11304 that's okay 11304 i should not add that i am holding shares on and my return is equal to my return is equal to my return means equity shareholders return uh, tell me how much was ebit 20000 minus i have to pay interest how much is it 7000 sir ebit minus interest since there is no tax this is etesh correct but you don't have full company with you you have only 10% shares we did one question alpha beta if you own 2% we found out etesh and did into 2% here this is etesh and you own only 10% thousand this is your current scene investment so much return so much correct but you know the place where you have invested it's unnecessarily overvalued that is a cheaper share available what you should do now working note 5 sell this share understanding working note 5 first one second don't write sell the share working note 5 since m limited is overvalued m limited is overvalued comma i should sell this share i should sell these shares and invest in k limited in reality they are equally valued but because of inefficiency people have hyped it sell it now you get more money than what it is really worth then buy something which is equal to its real value correct start writing since m limited is overvalued i should sell these shares and invest in k limited next line sale of investment in m limited tell me how much are you holding right now no no amount 11,304 sell all the shares for 11,304 this much money has come to your bank account hold on don't go and buy second company something very important listen when you were shareholder go to the question first when you are shareholder of m limited that company has debt now you are planning to sell that share and going to another company which is k limited that has no debt listen carefully ici book hasn't given one proper explanation listen otherwise this will be a problem in future when i say m limited has taken debt that means one second i'll call you yes 
listen concentrate i repeat as of now i am a shareholder of m limited my company has debt correct i am planning to sell those shares and i am planning to put that money in k limited k limited has no debt there is no financial risk but m limited had debt there was financial risk think and understand what i am saying it's not easy i'll repeat if needed when i say m limited had debt who represents m limited who is the real owner of m limited equity shareholders m limited is an artificial entity m limited has no physical existence m limited is equal to its equity shareholders correct that means when i was holding 10% of share in m limited i was also taking the burden of debt think some proportion same 10% only that means i am owning 10% share and i am taking 10% burden of the debt m limited is total of all of us imagine if all shareholders leave m limited where is m limited correct now what is happening earlier understand my sentence earlier i was holding 10% share of m limited and also i had risk of managing debt only 10% i am not holding 100% now i am shifting from a levered firm to unlevered firm now tell me when i put money in k limited am i taking any debt risk no therefore to make these two equal i will now take loan at my personal level and put that money along with 11304 together i will invest in k limited now also in my mind what is happening i hold shares of k limited and i am managing the risk of debt earlier it was company level leverage now it is individual leverage i hope you are able to understand i am repeating once again earlier i was a shareholder of m limited 10% of share capital belonged to me but there was a debt because of debt there was a risk who took that risk m limited m limited means who we only that means i was taking 10% risk of debt also that means earlier i was a shareholder with risk of bad risk of debt now i am planning to sell that share i'll get money if i go to k limited now i am a shareholder and i do not have any risk of paying to these guys therefore what i do i will take loan why i should take loan otherwise m and k can never be compared now what happens this 11304 plus some loan that i take together i will buy shares of k limited sir will that be advantages that you will get to continue sale of investment in m limited plus loan taken by me loan taken by me sir how much should be the loan taken by me earlier how much was debt value of that company 1 lakh you are managing 10% of that risk that means 10% of 1 lakh rupee you will take a loan of 10000 rupee this loan is a personal loan that's why i have dictated loan taken by me correct now tell me how much is the total funds in my hand 21304 total funds in my hand correct what will i do with this i will invest where to invest k limited how much was the percentage holding i had in m limited 10% now also i want only 10% continue i will now invest this Twenty one three not four in shares of K Limited. Correct. How much money I need is equal to ten percent only. I want of equity value. Please go to your working note. How much is that value? Two lakh rupee equity, and I am buying only ten percent. That means I will be doing. investment of 20000 rupee correct sir some extra money will be left with me now 
करेक्ट राइट डाउन मनी लेफ्ट इन माय हैंड मनी लेफ्ट विल बी व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस थाउजेंड थ्री नॉट फोर वी आर नॉट डन येट एम जस्ट टेकिंग वन स्टेज वी डिड नॉट इन्वेस्ट फुल मनी करेक्ट लास्ट वर्किंग नोट नंबर सिक्स माई इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल ऑफ माई इन्वेस्टमेंट इन के लिमिटेड इज इक्वल टू गो स्लो एंड टेल हाउ मच ऑफ शेयर आई वॉन्टेड टू बाई टेन परसेंट ऑफ देर इक्विटी टेन परसेंट ऑफ देर इक्विटी इज टेन परसेंट ऑफ टू लैख सर दिस यू ऑलरेडी रो करेक्ट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड my return in k limited is equal to please tell me same way you have done one working note how much will be etesh in k limited etesh in this company 20000 but how much will i earn in that 10% only i am not the full owner of the company that means i will earn 2000 correct go slow don't think this is all your money you took loan you have to pay interest for that in between 10000 loan we took uh, minus interest on loan taken by me interest on loan taken by me is equal to tell me please how much was the loan you took 10000 what is the rate of interest 7% they gave kd and they gave an assumption that loan rate is same for both that means how much i will spend 700 rupee this is my net return you have to notice some earlier in m limited how much i was earning Thousand three. Now how much am I earning? Thousand three. But now I am sitting with extra thousand three not four cash in hand. Same example. Pen is with me with fifteen rupee extra cash. Pen is same. But I have extra fifteen rupee with me. This is one style of arbitrage. You know what is the second style? Sir, like this, if you do again and again. 15 15 15 lot of 15s will be with you from that you can buy one more pen no think now what i did same return with less investment what we did is same return with less investment tell me what is the alternate way same investment more return right now second way of arbitrage <coughs> Sorry, one second. We have to write a conclusion. Conclusion. Even though, even though I am earning, even though I am earning same thousand three hundred rupee, same. Thousand three hundred rupee, comma. I am now sitting with. I am now sitting with extra cash of. What was that amount? Three not four rupee. you know in my pen example how should i read this even though i am owning one pen i am now sitting with 15 extra cash right listen like me everybody will get to know this this is the problem everybody will start doing same arbitrage what will they do keep selling m keep buying n when you keep selling m m's value will start going down and when people keep demanding n n ka price will go down you know how long it will continue till both of them come to equilibrium then nobody will sell m and buy n because both are at par value mm believes the whole world is always at that equilibrium 
value will never be different according to him but in reality value may be more or less if it is like this as an investor i can make good use of this did you understand this is not very easy i am aware but intentionally i have used the simple words that i am having money and remember that pen example with that if you connect to this you will be able to understand yes i know i know sir you took uh, personal loan rate of interest also from kd of the company at the very beginning i gave note he believe this is the meaning of perfect capital mark per he believes in no tax same loan rate and you know in reality this won't work easily okay tell me if i want to do like this what may be the problem i made that profit i have to pay taxes i sold shares again i have to buy share there is flotation cost all of this will take away my savings with extra tax i pay with extra flotation cost i do net net i won't save anything and i am not the only talented guy in the market everyone knows and i told you if everyone starts buying pen from 10th cross and sell in 11th then very soon both pen price will come to 90 after that nobody will buy from this cross to sell in that cross yes illustration 2 for example 2 same way particulars a limited b limited ebit 30000 30000 cost of equity 12.5% 12.5% debt at 10% interest 1 lakh here nothing here equity 1 lakh here 2 lakh here table is over assume you are holding assume you are holding 15% shares in Levered company show how arbitrage will take place. Show how arbitrage will take place. Now, when they say fifteen percent of levered company, they are referring to which company? By the way, A Limited. You are a shareholder of A. and you're holding 15% they want you to explain how arbitrage will take place similar working note start working note number 1 first what did we do value of equity a limited one second a limited is levered so in bracket how to do sir formula is etesh by ke yes please how to get etesh well ebit minus interest 30000 minus interest will be 10000 by point 125 hmm anyone value of equity in b unlevered is equal to how much is etesh now i think this is easy 30000 by 
1.122 lakh what you have done is only equity value but i want full firm value working note 2 value of firm a is equal to tell me now both i have to count this has equity and debt 1 lakh 60 equity correct plus 1 lakh debt 2 lakh 60 thousand unlevered b will have 2 lakh 40 thousand plus no debt 2 lakh 40 thousand plus 0 2 lakh 40 thousand now tell me i learnt in mm without tax that the value should be equal if we were in perfect condition these two should have been same but it's not same one is unnecessarily overvalued whichever is overvalued what do i do i sell and the question in the question they already said you all holding 15 percent shares of this company you can sell it and then go and purchase in b limit working note 3 since i have 15 percent share in a limited and it is overvalued now why am i saying overvalued now because as per mm it should be equal valued correct overvalued now i will sell i will sell this investment and buy B limited shares correct same way my current investment is equal to simple wordings my current investment is equal to tell me as of now I have 15% of 1,60,000 everyone 1,60,000 is equity value understand do wordings are simple 2, 3 sums you do will get the hold sorry 20 my current earnings is equal to Tell me whatever is our ETH in that 15% belongs to me. I am the owner of 15% ETH. How much was ETH number? 20,000. 20, yeah, sorry. No, 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 guys, one second. You have minus the interest correct no confusion huh. guys i hope you are taking from the correct company this i am highlighting this is my investment this is my earnings working note or Tell me, you answer now, what should I do? Sale of investment. How much is that number? The same 24,000 you are holding, that only you can sell. 15% of 1,60,000. plus i will borrow some money 
how much should i borrow if you see they had a debt of 1 lakh and i was taking 15% burden of 1 lakh this you know biggest confusion to many students in i say material they haven't given why is this borrowing students think i am investing in debenture borrowing means i am taking money understand when you were a shareholder you are taking this burden company means you only i hope you have got this sentence already i told you two three times my company has debt i am the shareholder that means i am handling that debt if i sell the share that debt handling risk is gone from my hand when i am going to new company i will take my personal loan and invest there now also i am handling debt in future also i'll be handling debt now along with me there are many other people are in future it will be only me but debt is still there 15% of 1 15000 rupee full 39000 funds in hand sir up to this it is similar to last working but listen there will be a change now in previous discussion what did i say that pen i'll sell at 100 with 100 rupee i will buy one pen only i did not change number of pens and i'll keep extra cash now what am i planning to do i'll use full 100 now tell me i can buy 1.2 pens 1.2 pens 1.3 pens because it is available at less than that rate continue now i will invest full 39000 in b limited able to follow tell me in my pen example what is this i will buy all pens available from 100 rupees i won't sell by one pen i'll say whatever i can buy with 100 i'll buy correct tell me now my investment in b limited is equal to 39000 my return on investment is equal to please tell me 12.5% of 39000 guys 39000 worth equity if i buy and they are giving me etage of 12.5% Should I show this in detail? What is the formula for value of equity? Etage by KE. Left hand side is thirty nine thousand. Etage I don't know. Divided by KE. Cross multiply. That will be etage to me. Directly I did twelve point five percent of thirty nine thousand. Four thousand eight seventy five. How much was their etage, by the way? Now, can I enjoy this four eight seven five? I took some loan also. That means I have to pay interest on loan. How much is interest on loan? So, interest rate is ten percent, and you have taken loan of fifteen thousand. Yes or no? That means thousand five hundred. You will have to pay. Three three. My net earnings. Three three seven five. Did you observe something? earlier i was earning how much 3000 now i am earning how much 3375 number of pens extra i purchased is a gain now first approach is buying same pen with extra cash in hand now buying more pens both way i can say i made good use of this inefficiency correct continue in this way 
in this way i increased my earnings i increased my earnings by rupees 3375 minus 3000 correct rupees 375 Sir, but one doubt. You earn three seventy five extra, okay? But to earn three seventy five extra, my old investment was twenty four thousand. But my new investment is thirty nine thousand. Sir, you invested fifteen thousand also extra now. Sir, where did I invest? That was bank loan that I took. My money still in the game is twenty four only, correct? That fifteen thousand is bank loan. Hello. You have written here. My money was twenty four. I took thousand five hundred bank. Sorry, fifteen thousand bank loan, and that I invested. That means in this whole deal, the three seventy five extra came without my extra money. Same hundred rupee earlier one pen now one point two pens. That means arbitrage can be shown in one of the two ways. Easy way to remember. I will buy same one pen, plus will keep extra cash, or I will buy one point one pen. That time I won't have cash, but I'll have extra pens. Now here you see I have three seventy five extra in my first solution. I did not earn extra. I was earning same money, same one three double zero one three double zero. But I had thousand three hundred four extra. And this remember will not continue too long till these two pen owners get to know. that there is inefficiency with high buying and selling world will bring it to equilibrium is yes. that on this there are two more duplicate questions they just changed numbers you can try total there are four questions in study material 